I will tell you the story of a human being who was born into a Jewish family in Osnabrück in northern Germany on December 11, 1904. His father ran a hardware store and was quick to support him in his artistic vocation. At the age of 18, he left for Hamburg and Berlin to study art. His first paintings are family portraits, family vacations with a touch of self-deprecation and melancholy. His preference for self-portraits evokes his questionings as a man, son and artist. He will quickly be recognized by his peers as a talented contemporary painter. But this promising future tumbles with Hitler gaining power. He exiles Rome in 1933, Paris and Ostend in 1935, and Brussels in 1937. On May 10, 1940, Germany invades Belgium. Belgian police arrest Jewish refugees from all four corners of Europe. He is sent to a concentration camp in Saint-Cyprien in the south of France, where he is only able to draw sketches of what he is going through. He escapes and returns to Brussels, where he takes up painting again, living hidden with his wife. On June 20th, 1944, Felix and Felke Nussbaum were discovered and arrested by the Wehrmacht in their attic on Rue Archimède in Brussels. They were betrayed by a neighbor. Both were deported on July 31st, 1944, on the last train from Belgium to Auschwitz. They perished there in the gas chambers on August 2nd, 1944. From 1942 to July 31st, 1944, 24,916 Jews, women, men, young and old, were deported from Belgium to the Auschwitz extermination camp. Only 1,206 of them survived. If I perish, do not let my paintings die but show them to people. Felix Nussbaum, Felka Nussbaum, Judah Eisner, Rudolf Goldmann, Regina Goldstein, Hilda Hirsch, Kurt Körner, Markus Spitzmann, Ilse Bressler, Gisela Bressler, Malvin Laschauer, Arthur Bleiberg, Isaac Kling, Hedwig Roniger, Johanna Stern, Malvina Stern, Rebecca Kornfein, Alice Schwarz, Bernard Wittner, Dora Haber, Alice Hamburg, Berta Kahn, Blanche Kahn, 
Regin Lichtenstein, Gottfried Pick, Margit Weintraub, Edmund Eisner, Jankel Abzug, Hannah Spinner, Edith Glaser, Bernard Gottlieb, Helene Polaschek, Rachel Reicher, Sabine Weizen, Friederike Steiner, Aaron Schwarz, Abraham Koplewitsch, Jakob Grüber, Mixa Weiss, Jolan Mandel, Malka Stolowitsch, and my grandmother and my grandfather, Regina Weissenberg, Abraham König. Chaque vie est un roman, sauf que la première partie de ma vie a été un tout petit peu bousculée par des gens qui pensaient que je n'étais pas. Mais je suis. Et voilà. In fact, I'm fortunate to be able to tell you the story of Felix Nussbaum, because I, myself, was a hidden Jewish child during the Second World War. You who live safe in your warm houses, you who find warm food and friendly faces when you return home, consider that this is a man who works in mud, who knows no peace, who fights for a crust of bread, who dies by a yes or no. Consider if this is a woman without hair, without name, without the strength to remember. Empty are her eyes, cold her womb like a frog in winter. Never forget that this has happened. These words engrave them in your hearts when at home or in the street, when lying down, when getting up. Repeat them to your children.